Hey guys, welcome back to another spectacular episode of Arrow Elite Combat Academy. Um, today, I figured we would go ahead and pick up off of where we left off last time on the training missions. Um, try to unlock some more aircraft. Um, as you can see, we have basic now and rotary wing B. Um, we're going to be sticking with basic because rotary wing B, uh, while helicopters are really cool, um, they are incredibly difficult to fly at least for me. Um, so we'll be doing the um, basic piloting stages and seeing what we can unlock. You'll now learn the barrel roll. So barrel roll. Okay. Pull back on the stick to bring your pitch between 10, 10 and 15. 15 this means the stick will be back into the left diagonally. Okay, so they want us to there if you drop it too much roll. to the left. You'll enter a vertical loop if you don't drop this is probably going to give me quite a bit of trouble. When your aircraft returns to level, center your stick. You've done it right if your bearing and speed are unchanged. It's more difficult if you focus on the stick. Let's see if I can get this done. Left barrel roll. Fly level. Great. Hmm, not bad. 85, I'll take it. All right, that's it. That's good. Nice. You're too low. Huh. That's all I did wrong. All right. No. Doesn't look like a that's bad it. barrel roll. Yes, of course, we'll always save. It's always best to save. Um, in my Morrowind Let's Plays, um, I have a tendency to forget to um, to do lots of door saves. So always, always make sure to do door saves. I think uh, saving after these would probably be the equivalent of a door save. But anyway, we'll continue with the Immelman turn. Now, a little bit of background. The Immelman turn is one of my favorite aerobatic maneuvers. I don't even think it would count as aerobatic simply because it's... A half loop upwards and then a roll either to the right or left so you're you can not only do a u-turn but you're also gaining altitude um, there's also the reverse of this where you can do it the other direction where you roll first and you um, reduce your altitude um, but to me this is a much faster way of turning around um, than just kind of rolling your craft to the right or left and pulling back on the stick as hard as you can and going into a blackout and stalling and all kinds of other wonderful things that tend to happen when I am behind the stick of a plane. So let's see what he has to say about this one. Now you learn the increase engine output to 100%. Watch the G display when it Watch the Gs. Roll 180 degrees to the right. And then he wants to the down. right. When you've rolled 180 and you've then successfully executed. that's it. Okay. Max output. Begin looping, but watch your G's. Seven G's. Right roll. Great! <laughs> My G's were pretty insane, but I got a decent score, so I'm, I'm gonna take it. Alright. You're pulling too much. You're pulling too... Alright. That's it. You know, you'd think with things like being off, you know, altitude by 10 or 20 feet would be a whole lot less problematic than pulling like, you know, two G forces higher than you're even supposed to. That's it. You know, in a combat situation, that's not as bad as, you know, blacking out. So they're a little bit more lenient, I think, on things that they probably shouldn't be. I'm sure some aviating Asian fanatic out there is saying, oh dear. The split S. I don't remember this one. Maybe this is actually what I was talking about from before. I'm not You'll now positive. Learn the split S. The split S. Okay. First. When you watch, also adjust in. Oh, so that's all this is. The don't forget that your speed increase. So I do split S's and Immelman turns quite frequently. Begin moving, but watch your G's. That was good for the most part. Huh. Probably because of the G's. You're pulling. 
You vector. You're pulling too much. You're pulling too. You're pulling too. All right. See, we don't Not care about ready, the G's. Huh? I am ready. A 72, I'm sorry, is a passing score. A new aircraft. Hmm. So you think we're in the, the T2 or something like that? I don't know. Maybe it's just a different paint job. Formation flying. You'll now learn to fly in formation. Flying in formation. Well, in formation if I remember when I was playing these, leader, it was not focusing on your speed or not altitude. easy. Always be aware of your position so in relation to the leader. From your the le okay. Increase engine output a bit at a time when distance starts to, open, but not too quickly. Adjust slightly yeah. and watch your. Okay. <clears throat> so I think they just kind of want us to go in a straight line. Closing the distance. If you're already at minimum engine output. Adjust your flight in half measures. In other words, adjust. Okay. Stay in formation. Don't fall behind. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. Not too slow. I got You're this. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. Line it up. I am lined up. Line it up. This time was okay. Does that count as a pass? Let's see. You're falling out of. I am not out of You're formation. Falling. You're falling out. <laughs> okay, of maybe, maybe a little bit. You're fall. <laughs> You're falling out. Come on, concentrate. Well, they counted as a clear. Maybe um in another episode I'll kind of go through like a cleanup where I'll go through the ones where I didn't you know end up with a score I was happy with but I'm just kind of trying to get through these for you guys oh and now we're gonna do a loop together <clears throat> you now learn how to perform a formation flight loop formation training flight loop okay. the loop when the leader announces loop once in the loop adjust yeah I remember this one was hard so because you have to, to away also keep an eye on the leader. Adjust your stick so that the leader always when you start to descend at the top of the loop, be sure to fly level when you're okay. When performing a specified maneuver in formation flight, it may be difficult at first. It's important to make a jet. Yeah, may, may not be passing. Stay in formation. Don't fall behind. Loop now. You're flying too fast. Don't slip out in front. Slow down. You're flying too fast. Don't slip out in front. Line it up. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. I'm way off now. High level. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. Oh, brother. Yeah, that was that was bad. I'll admit. Went out in front too much, and then okay, let's try this one more time. Don't fall behind. Loop now. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. Not falling behind. I got this. Line it up. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. There we go. Okay, not so bad. Had to use the air brakes there at the last minute, but I'm okay with this. Let's see how I did. Out of You're falling out of formation. He sounds so displeased. <laughs> You're falling. It's good enough. You're falling out of form. You're falling. <laughs> That's it. So. All, the only feedback he had for me this entire time was that I'm falling out of formation and I get a good job at the end. 
It's really like having a supervisor. Okay, saving the game. We are saved. Now we're formation three. Let's see what happens. Is there another one? No, I have to actually clear all of them in order to advance to the next one. <clears throat> in order. So now learn the formation right turn. The aircraft you're piloting is to the left of the leader, so you'll fly more to the outside in the Your roll angle is okay if the leader's wings appear to be horizontal from your cockpit. Also be careful not to... Okay, so I really, the whole point of this is you really have to keep an eye um, on your formation leader. Significantly, do not try... First, balance your pop... You'll Stay in formation. Don't fall behind. Right turn now. I need to control this a little bit better. Line it up! I am lined up. <laughs> Falling behind a lot. Let's um, Line it up! Whoa, air brakes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa! Oh, man. Oh, that was, that was almost a mid-air fender bender. And that probably would have ruined a lot of things. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. Line it up. Turn off the air brake. Fly level. You're too slow. Don't fall behind. This time was okay. All right, I survived that one. I want to see I want to see this replay here because let's see what happens. You're falling. You're falling. <laughs> oh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> You're falling. <clears throat> You're falling. Come on. They're pretty lenient, though. I guess you know passing you with you know less than a seventy is pretty pretty nice. Oh, landing. I don't mind landing. I like landings. You'll now learn how to land a T4. You'll be land this time. You'll begin perform the approach. Co okay, into the approach Watch corridor. And then uh, your speed much will get this. Turn right and aim for the runway. Try to get that vector lined up with the runway here. I love the music in this game. It's it's so pleasant. Like there are some that are really good for dogfighting, and there's some here that's just it's really nice for um you know just your usual casual flights. I'm trying to use the rudder here on the back so that I can change. I'm over speed that they want me to be at, but that's okay. This thing glides so easily. I mean, I've had no engine output. I could probably flip up the uh, air brakes in order to reduce my speed a bit, because they want me at like 135 knots for like. Probably gonna land a bit high. That's it! Mitch, five degrees. That's it! You're flying too slow. I'm not flying too slow. And use the landing gear brakes. I'm gonna try to get this like on the nose, right on the line there. There we go. That's a solid landing, I'd say. Should get a decent score from this. That's it. There we go, 96. See, I'm, I'm good at landings. So I'm, I'm pretty good at that. But formation flying, no, I got to be a leader because I, I don't like following following the rules in the air. It's just, it's not my thing. Let's see. 
fast forwarding. Right. That's it. Your pitch is off. Pitch. Your pitch is. <clears throat> All right. Wow, you're good. Yep. Yep. You got it. 99, 65, 81, 67, 68, 76, 85, and 86, 7. Oh, okay. Let's see what they're giving me on my report. I thought that was 77.6. performance. This ends the basic pilot training stage. You're finally ready for real training. All right. Let's see what happens here. This means that starting today, you're training ready. In other words, you've shown great promise so far. So we get a new plane here. You'll now receive combat pilot training on the T-2 supersonic jet Supersonic, plane. all right. The T-2 is unlike anything you've flown before, so don't get cocky, got it? Okay. I think now what I'll do... Um, Instead of jumping right into the combat training, I think I'm going to save that for another episode. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do some free flight stuff. We'll do a solo flight. Um, <clears throat> we'll just we'll fly around the bay at night. And we'll use the F-14 maybe. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And you'll see these other planes have different, different colors here and there. So we'll use the F-14, and we'll, we'll just do everything. The The only thing um, in this is, I'll fly on the outside too, the only thing in this that you can't really do um, is you can't like start shooting stuff without a target. Like see I have, if you hit um, the L2 button I think this is, you'll... Um, want to. Um, you can't just shoot stuff. You have to actually have targets and all that. Which I don't think I have in this because I, I don't have any enemies. I mean there's a way you can get enemies around like bridges and stuff. Six point five G's afterburners on. So let's see if we can't find a highway or something to land. Yeah, I see one now. Let's go around a little bit. Flaps, air brakes. We'll just kind of coast this on down here. You're going too fast to know when you're landing here. No, I'm going not. Too fast to know when you're landing See, here. that's the only thing that, that gets to me in this. If I'm going ludicrously fast in a game and I really shouldn't lower landing gear, but I want to do it anyway, why shouldn't I be able to? If I want to break the plane, I should be able to break the plane. There we go. Nice little highway landing here. And I like how the wings do, where they'll kind of flay out like that, or splay out, sorry. Flaying is, flaying is a lot more unpleasant than splaying. Uh, can you shoot? Nope, can't shoot anything. Turn off the air brakes, we kind of don't need them right now. And we'll finish up the braking. There we go. Air brakes on. I mean, the, the articulation in this for like a PlayStation 2 game, it, I think it's pretty cool. So I think that's going to do it, guys. I will see you next time.